Alright, the parable of the two sisters. The ones that who were murdered. And their identification. 23. And the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, say to her, You are a land that is not cleansed or reigned on in that day of indignation. <coughs> Sorry. There is a conspiracy of her prophets in her midst, like a roaring lion tearing the prey. They have devoured lives, they have taken treasure and precious things, they have made many widows in the midst of her. Her priests have done violence in my law, and have profaned my holy things. They have made no distinction between the holy and profane. And they have not taught the difference between unclean and the clean. And they hide their eyes from the Sabbaths. And I, ha and I am profaned among them. Her princes within her are like wolves, tearing the prey by shredding blood and destroying lives in order to get this honest game. And her prophets have smeared whitewash for them, seeing false visions and divine lies for them, saying, Thus says the Lord God, When the Lord has not spoken, the, pe the people of the land have practiced oppression and committed robbery, and they have wronged the poor and the needy, and have oppressed, so drawn her with justice, without justice. And I have searched for a man among them who should build up the wall and stand in the gap before me for the land that I have sh and I should not destroy it. But I found no one, no one. Thus I have poured out my in indignation on them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their, their way I have brought upon their heads, declares the Lord of God, the Lord God. A parable of the two sisters. Their identification. Numbers. Alright. The word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, there are two women, the daughters of, mo of one mother. And they played the harlot in Egypt. They played the harlot in, in their youth. There, their breasts were pressed. And their vir virgin bosom was handled. And their names were Ohola and the elder Oholaba, her sister, and they became mine. And they bore sons and daughters. And as for their names, Samara is Ohaya, and Jerusalem is Oholaba. Their infidelities. And Ohola played the harlot while she was mine, and and she lusted after her lovers, a, after the Assyrians, her neighbors, who were clothed in purple. Governors and officials, all of them desirable young men, horsemen riding on horses. And she bestowed her harlotries on them, all of them, all of whom were the choicest men of Assyria, and with all whom she lusted after. With all their idols, she defiled herself, and she did not forsake to her heart of trees. She never asked for forgiveness from the time of Egypt, for in her youth men lay in with her, and they handled her virgin bosom and poured out their lust on her. Therefore I gave her to the hand of her lovers, and to the hand of the Assyrians, after whom she lusted. They uncovered her nakedness, they took her sons and her daughters, put them slew with, with the sword. Thus she became be, uh, by word among women, and they exalted judgment on her. Now her sister Oholaba saw this, yet she was more corrupt in her lust than she, and her harlotries were more than the harlotries of her sisters. She lusted after the Syrians, 
the governors, the officials, the ones near. Magnus to rest, horsemen riding on horses, all of them desirable young men. And I saw that she had filled herself that, that both took the same way. So she increased her heart of trees, and she saw men portrayed on the wall, images on, of the Chaldeans portrayed with, with vermilion, girded with belts on their loins, with flowing turbans on their heads, all of them looking like officials, like the Babylonians in Chaldea, the land of their birth. And when she saw them, she lusted after them, and she and sent messengers to the Chalde Chaldea. And the Babylonians came to her, to to the bed of love, and they defiled her with their harlotry. And when she had been defiled by them, she became disgusted with them. And she uncovered her harlotry and uncovered her nakedness. She, then I became disgusted with her, and I be had become disgusted with her sister. Yes, she multiplied her heart trees, remembering the days of her, her, her youth, when she played the harlot in the land of Egypt. And she lusted after the, the Peremars, whose flesh is like the flesh of donkeys, and whose tissue is like the tissue of horses. Thus you longed for the lewdness of, of your youth, but the Egyptians handled your bosom because of the breast of the youth. A punishment. Therefore, O Holibah, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will arouse your lovers against you, from, from whom you were alienated, and I will bring them against you, from every side, the Babylonians and all the Chaldeans, Pegod and Shoah and Koah, and all the Assyrians with them, desirable young men, governors, and officials of all of them, officers and men of renown, all of them riding on horses, and they will come against you with weapons and chariots and wagons and with company of people. They will set themselves against you on every side and the buckler and shield and the helmet and I shall commit the judgment to them and they will judge according to their customs. And I will set my jealousy against you and they, will, and they may deal with you in wrath. They will remove your nose and your ears, and your survivors with, will fall by the sword. They will take your sons and your daughters, and your survivors will be consumed by the fire. They will also strip you of your clothes and take away your beautiful jewels. Thus I have made lewdness on your heart of tree, brought on the land of Egypt to seize from you, so that you will not lift up your eyes to them. Remember Egypt anymore. For thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will give you into the hand of those whom hate you, who hate into the hand of those whom were alienated, and they will deal with you in hatred. They all your, they all your property, and leave you naked and bare, and nakedness of all your hearts you shall be uncovered, both your lewdness and your heart and your harlotries. These things will be done because you have played the harlot with the nations, because you have defiled yourself with your idols. You have walked in, in the way of your sister. Therefore I will give her cup into your hand. Thus says the Lord God. You will drink your sister's cup, which is deep and wide. Yeah, deep and wide. You will be laughed at and held der in derision. In content... And contains you. It contains you. You will be filled with drunkenness and sorrow, and a cup of horror and desolation, and the cup of your sister Samara, Samara, and you will drink it and drain it, and then you will gnaw its fragments and tear your breasts. For I have spoken, declares the Lord God. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have forgotten me and cast me behind your back, bear now the punishment of your lewdness and your harlotries. Moreover, the Lord said to me, Son of man, you will judge Ohola and Holiaba, then declares them to their abominations, 
for they have committed adultery, and the blood is on their hands. Thus they have committed adultery with their idols, and even caused their sons, whom they bore to me, to pass through fire to them as food. Again they have done t this to me. They have defiled my sanctuary on the same day, and have profaned my Sabbath. For when they have slaughtered their children from their idols, they enter my sanctuary on the same day to profane it, and lo, <laughs> and lo thus did within my house. Furthermore, they even sent men who from afar whom our messengers was sent, and lo, they came from whom you bathed, painted your eyes, and decorated yourselves with ornaments, and you sat on a splendid couch with a table around before it. And you had set my incense and my oil, and the sound of, of carefree multitude was with her. And you, we filled with drunkenness and sorrow. Drunkenness, drunkards were brought from the wilderness with men of the common sort, and they put bracelets on the hands of the women and beautiful crowns on their heads. Then I said, concerning her, who was worn out by adulteries, will they not now commit adultery with her when she is thus, but then went into her as when they would go into the harlot, thus they will thus they went into the hola Oholaya and went Oholiba, that lewd woman, the lewd woman, but they righteous men will judge them with the judgment of adulteresses and will and with judgment of women who sh who sh shed blood because they are adulteresses and blood is on their hands for thus says the Lord God bring up a company against them and give them over to tear and plunder and the company will stone them with stones and cut them down with with their swords they will slay their sons they, their daughters and burn their houses with fire. Thus I shall make lewdness cease from the land, that all women may be admonished and not commit lewdness as you have done, and your lewdness will be requited upon you, and you will be, bear the penalty of your worship, worshiping your idols. Thus you will know that I am the Lord God. Pair of the boiling pot.